We're out on Sunday in Levensune and this is our park and I don't know if I've mentioned it before but we've got our own circle of standing stones. I don't think it's that old. <laughs> I don't think it's megalithic or prehistoric or Iron Age or Bronze Age but it's ours. I think it's fantastic that we have one. I'm not sure what goes on here if any kind of magical things ever happen. I'm sure they do. Um, I thought it would be a great location at some point to um, to do one of these readings that I've been starting, like my one at Alderley Edge. I don't know what I'd read. I've got nothing with me today. It could be um, something by Susan Cooper. That'd be amazing if it was snowy. Or um, something by Alan Garner again. Or Penelope Lively, The Wild Hunt of Hagworthy. I think that one was. Or was it Astacote? Anyway, one of those 70s fantasy kids books. Not the Children of the Stones. Um, or maybe The Stones of Blood by David Fisher. Anyway, a small reading in a circle of stones would be, would be good fun, I think. I've got to think about this more. I'm quite enjoying this idea. Anyway, I'm going to stand in the middle and show you the whole circle. If you stand in the middle, something magical is bound to happen. Or maybe I'll just get dizzy. Jeremy's over getting coffee at the van over there for us both. So I'm going to go and get coffee and um, see you again later. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm in the kitchen and I'm going to make some onion soup, French onion soup. We've got onions uh, from Jamie and Kyle who grew them on their allotment. We've got apples as well. Uh, I don't know what type they are. Are they Cox's or um, Granny Smith's? Somebody will know. I'm going to make an apple crumble. I'm not sure if I'm doing that tonight. I might do. But I thought some onion soup would be good. I'm also doing some kind of pork chops. Um, anyway, that's the cooking part of the video <laughs> done. Um, just saying hello, really. I haven't read anything all day. I started re reading a really nice um, gothic ghost story last night. A novel called, I think, The Lost Ones? A recent one. And it wasn't on the pile of books that I put together yesterday at all. Which is typical, really. Um... Sometimes at bedtime I pick up something that's just on a pile, you know, on the way to the, on the way to bed. And sometimes that's a brilliant way of cracking open a new book. And it goes completely against the grain of all the kind of careful, organisational stuff I did yesterday to do with what I want to read this autumn. But something that's set in the early 20th century in a big house in a proper kind of gothic milieu seemed exactly right to me. So we'll see how that goes. I'm just not going to sweat it. Unlike these onions which are going to sweat in butter and olive oil on the hob for a while and then I'm going to add brown sugar and stock and make them into soup. But I'm not going to sweat it in terms of um, bullying myself with reading plans. I'm going to read the beginnings of things and if I like them I'll continue and if I don't I'll stop. That's what it's about. And as I said last night at book club, a really good um, plan for me for reading, a really good way of working is if I read a chunk of, I don't know, 20 or 30 pages of something, about an hour's worth of reading, and then I put something down and then don't pick it up the next day or two days later. If I don't bother to pick it up, I know what I think of it. You're kind of instinctively responding to it by not picking it up again. And that's a good test for me. Um, so we'll see how we go with this particular gothic tale. Right, I'm going to chuck all these bits of money now. Um, 
And that's all I've got, really. <laughs> There's been no reading going on. There's been writing. Um, I'm writing, I'm working on three different projects. Three or four, actually. And they're all at different stages right now of delivery. Three things are with their editors, which is nice. Um, and I've been given an extra month on a book that I haven't started writing yet, which means it will continue over Christmas and into the new year, and I will spend January in the thick of this particular book, which is going to be joyful, because I think January is so hard, such a hard month, and generally I've had to begin new books in January, which is a uh, a daunting thing to do. Often it's the 2nd of January and I've had to sit down and begin an Elsie Mason book. And I remember during lockdown, I think I was starting book four on something like January the 1st. Whoops. And um, I sat at the table downstairs and looked out the front window and there was a lorry, there was a van opposite and it was two fellas and they were, I don't know what they were delivering or what they were working on, but one was sobbing in the other one's arms <laughs> on the 2nd of January and I thought great <laughs> full marks for the male tenderness but a bit depressing these onions are so fresh and sharp they're actually making my eyes water that never happens with onions these days so you can tell they're organic because I'm properly tearing up so January should be more fun perhaps than Oh, or less daunting than, than other years, when you have to uh, pick up the reins of a new book at the very beginning of January. It's quite, quite exhausting. Um, this is going to get noisy now. But I think I'm up to date with all my news and stuff. It's been a bit of drawing. Um, I've made a Christmas card for my... <laughs> uh, that I've ordered now to go with my prints for the naked... It, uh, at overdraft um, nude art show <laughs> which is next month I've got three prints of nude friends fellas and um, this particular Christmas card which um, Facebook won't let me post it lets me post all the other paintings and prints but not this one the 12 dicks of Christmas <laughs> um, I don't know why they think it's obscene there's nothing obscene about it it's just different sizes and shapes of flaccid penises and that's going to be my Christmas card this year and I hope my printer will do it actually thinking about it there might be somebody receiving the file in Leeds right now and <laughs> not wanting to print it anyway um, yep that's the theme of my Christmas card this year for select friends um, I'm gonna go I will see you again shortly um, I'll I might update you on how the how the onion soup goes. Okay, see you later. Bye bye. Okay, this is the beef stock. Going in to the um, onion soup. See how that does.